Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, I'm so excited about the World Engineering Day. Good morning, world. This is Abhinav Damor, and I'll be taking you on a tour of India's premier institute, Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, on World Engineering Day. With me, I have newbie Lakshita. So, how does it feel to enter the hallowed portals of India's premier institute? I'm very excited and looking forward to go around this campus with you. For all those who are watching, uh, let me bring you up to speed. IIT Bombay is proud to represent India for this 24-hour event on occasion of World Engineering Day, broadcast live from Sydney. So, are you excited to go around campus? Of course. This is where it all started. The foundation stone for this internationally recognized institute was laid by the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, on March 10, 1959. In 1961, the Parliament decreed the IITs as institutes of national importance. Since then, IIT Bombay has grown from strength to strength to emerge as one of the top technical universities in the world. Let's hear what the director, Professor Subhashi Chaudhary, has to say. I'm really happy that IIT Bombay is a part of the World Engineering Day celebrations. This is an excellent opportunity for engineers across the world to come together for a cause. Today, IIT Bombay is recognized worldwide as a leader in the field of engineering, education, and research. The institute attracts the best students from across the country for its undergraduate, masters, and doctoral programs and is reputed worldwide for the outstanding caliber of students graduating from its undergraduate and postgraduate programs. IIT Bombay students are some of the most sought after engineers, analysts and researchers. Top companies from across the globe compete to hire our students. The alumni have distinguished themselves through their achievements and contributions to industry, academics, research, business, government, and in social domains. The institute continues to work closely with alumni and industry to enhance its activities through interactions in academic and research programs to make a lasting social impact. In 60 years, IIT Bombay has constantly evolved. IIT Bombay is dynamic, flexible, and open to the expanding knowledge and changing socio-economic requirements of the modern society and the industry. I welcome you all to explore how IIT Bombay can join hands with you for the benefit of our society. I love this campus. I feel like I'm in some other green city. IIT Bombay is located in Pawai, one of the northern suburbs of Mumbai. Thus, it is in the busy financial capital of India, surrounded by natural beauty. This is a huge campus spread over 550 acres. Wow! Since its inception, the institute has physically expanded to accommodate more than 584 major buildings with a combined area of more than 2.2 square kilometers. It currently has a total of 15 academic departments and 34 centers offering degree programs and academic facilities. It has three schools including management, design and entrepreneurship and six interdisciplinary programs. It offers courses leading to degrees such as Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Science, Master of Science, Interdisciplinary Dual Degree Program, Masters of Technology and a few others. It also offers doctoral degrees in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, a full residential institute all its 12,000 students are accommodated in 17 hostels with in-house dining. The campus also provides excellent amenities, sports and other recreational facilities. Did you know, did you know that IIT Bombay secured the first rank in India and the 42nd rank this year in the QS Asia University Rankings 2022? 
Also, IIT Bombay is in the range of 101 to 110 in the QS Graduate Employability Rankings 2022. And that's not all. In the National Institutional Ranking Framework, IIT Bombay has secured third position in overall category, engineering category, and 10th position in the management category. It also stood third in the new research category. IIT Bombay has secured second position in the Atal rankings of institutions on innovation achievements. ARIIA 2021 under the CFTI's category Institute of National Importance Technical for the third consecutive year. So, what about the faculty? IIT Bombay would not have come so far without the contribution of its faculty. The faculty at IIT Bombay is one of the finest among the Indian institutes. Most members of the faculty are achievers in their own right and excellent teachers and mentors reputed for their research contributions nationally and internationally. Over the last few years, IIT Bombay's faculty members have been presented with several prestigious awards including the Padma Shri, the Shanti Swaru Bhatnagar Award, the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. IIT Bombay also builds links with peer universities and institutes both at the national and the international levels to enhance research and enrich its education program. Hello Aditya and Dhananjay. Hello. These are our students. Feel free to ask them anything. Hi Aditya. Hi, Hi. Dhananjay. How are you? I am yeah, fine. I am great. Yeah. So what do you think about the professors over here? Uh, one thing I like most about IIT Bombay professors are they are research scholars themselves and are deeply involved in their own subject of interest. Yeah, and they also inculcate within us a love for our subjects. It is this attitude of our professor that really makes them special. Oh, amazing professors I see. Chalo. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. 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 Hey, oh, hi. hi. Let me introduce you to Ekdo Singh. Hi, Iknaur. Hi. And maybe you could tell us about how you spend your day on campus. Well, I do start off my day at 8 in the morning and run down to the mess for breakfast. Breakfast charges me up and then I quickly get ready and walk down to the lecture halls to attend my lectures in the morning. Most of these lectures happen only during the morning hours and I personally like it that way because it gives me time to pursue other activities down the day. After the lecture hours, it's time for lunch. And lunch time is a great time to bond with my friends, catch up upon the activities going on around the institute and we end up having a lot of fun. Lunch is followed by laboratories where I get to apply the learnings from my courses and we usually get to interact with the professor, the lab in charge and a lot of learning is done practically. After labs, I get some time to pursue my interests. I spend some time brainstorming ideas for my next YouTube content. some internship work, pursuing some projects or perhaps hanging out with friends. At this time I usually run down to the laundry, often just in time to get my clothes back on the same day. Evening time is exercise time, something which keeps me charged and motivated throughout the day. I go to the gym as frequently as I can or perhaps go for a run. Often I also spend some time playing badminton or basketball with my friends. By this time, the sun goes down and I head back to the hostel. Looking forward to the next new day. A happy World Engineering Day to all. The Institute's Technical Council caters to the needs for everything related to tech happenings. Student tech is one of the pillars of IIT Bombay, motivating young minds to pursue innovative ideas. We believe in providing a platform for budding engineers to live their passion and during that journey grow into excellent engineers with immense technical knowledge and a practical approach to real world problem solving. 
Let me take you to the car racing lab. Our subsequent cars have been the first Indian Formula student cars to have implemented an electronic differential, an in-house fabricated monocoque chassis, a battery management system, and 3D printed titanium uprights. We have been pioneers in engineering high-performance electric race cars to compete at various Formula student competitions like Formula Bharat and Formula Student UK, which is Europe's most prominent educational engineering competition. After all, it is attended by over 10,000 people and more than 110 colleges from all over the world and gets coverage from UK's BBC network. We've been crowned the overall champions at the FSUK 2021 concept class and have been awarded the best engineering design for the last two years. Our journey has been incredibly rewarding and we plan to keep racing up the ladder. Hey! Hope all of you are enjoying the first ever live broadcast of World Engineering Day celebration. Hi, I am Ravi Gupta and with me is Parvik Dabu. We are part of Team AUV. I've been in the team for almost three years now and the experience has been an absolute roller coaster ride. I've picked up a ton of skills during my time here, be it technical skills in the field of robotics or working in a team of like-minded, passionate people. Personally, I think being part of the team has helped me become a true engineer by giving me exposure to solve real-world engineering problems and more importantly, become a better person and build lasting relationships with my teammates here. The bond I have developed while brainstorming with like-minded people is the one that I'll cherish over the years to come. At the end, after endless days of debugging, when the vehicle finally comes to life, I simply can't put it into words. The most important thing that I've gained while being in the team, that learning from failures is perhaps more crucial than celebrating successes. Namaskar, I am Ove Sanwari, Project Manager of Team Shunya. And I am Adira, I am Project Architect of Team Shunya. Shunya is led by a team of young passionate students from IIT Bombay who have joined hands together for a sustainable future with the help of innovation in the field of housing. We are the only team representing India in the prestigious competition Solar Decathlon, often referred to as the Olympics of Sustainable Architecture, which is organized by US Department of Energy. The team has backed second prize for Project Daksh in the attached housing category. In the Solar Decathlon at Versailles, France in 2014, with Project H0, the team got honorable mention in sustainability. In the Solar Decathlon at Daizu, China in 2018, with Project Solarize, we got the Best Participation Award for completing the house in 12 days. To, to all, all of you out there, there wishing, wishing you a um, happy World Engineering Day. <laughs> Where is the driver? This is just the tip of the iceberg of the research and innovation that happens at IIT Bombay. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Harshil. Happy Engineering Hello. Day. Happy Engineering Day. Hi. So I'm from Team Umic and Team Umic is a 50 plus member multidisciplinary international team that participates in various competitions. And uh, our main dream is to basically pursue the air, uh, autonomy in various domains like air and grounds. So it consists of two sub-teams mainly. There is Team Aero, which was created to pursue the dream of aerial autonomy. And then there is Team Cedrica, which is working on self-driving cars for Indian road conditions. So about talking about Team Aero, uh, Team Aero participates in the longest and the oldest running aerial robotics competition, which is the IARC, uh, hosted by AUVSI. And so we've participated in multiple iterations of that competition. So in the 2018 competition, we were presented with the Best Presentation Award. And after that, we participated again in the 2020 Simulation Challenge because of the pandemic. 
and despite of that we were crowned the world champions in the competition and so currently we are participating in the 2021 challenge uh, which involves uh, long distance mobility and then autonomous manipulation of large objects using drones. So after that there is Team Cedrica, so Team Cedrica stands for uh, self-driving cars and that team basically uh, pursues the dream of ground autonomy so we are basically trying to create a self-driving car based Indian road conditions. So the team actually started participating in the IGVC challenge which is the International Ground Vehicles Challenge. So in the 2017 edition we were uh, give, uh, we stood fourth all over and in the 2018 edition we were uh, the world champions for the competition and currently after that we were uh, given this car as so we decided to step up our game and uh, improve those algorithms by implementing them on the car in, on a real car itself. So we uh, we are currently working towards uh, creating this car so that uh, creating the autonomous stack for this car so that this car can run on Indian road conditions. Uh, other than that, we've also participated in the ASME Student Design Challenge, which is hosted by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. So it is a mechatronic student design challenge where uh, our freshman team participates and. Members from both the sub-teams uh, are involved in the competition and we've also achieved some great results in that competition as well. So in the 2017 edition, we were uh, placed first worldwide and then in the 2019 iteration, we came first in the Asia-Pacific region. So, and recently in the 2021st edition, we were crowned fourth worldwide, so out of all the finalists. So it basically uh, pursues the dream of autonomy in the aerial and the ground domains and uh, under the sheds, you can find a lot of students working tirelessly towards this dream. So for our efforts, we were given this car and sponsored by Mahindra so that we could test our algorithms on real road conditions and that is what we are doing right now. Hello, my name is Nitish Agrawal, a third year undergraduate student and I am the Institute Secretary of Tinkerer's Laboratory. Tinkerer's Laboratory is a 24 cross 7 technical facility under the Institute Technical Council and is open to all IITB students to encourage them to go beyond their curriculum and explore technology as a hobby, as fun, and start tinkering, building, and innovating to convert creative ideas into actual engineering products. So far, five startups have emerged from the lab in the past seven years of its establishment. I want to share my personal experience of the laboratory and why many other students like me join this lab. This lab is wholly managed and run by students and the main motto of the lab is learning through tinkering. It's a dream place for all the tech enthusiast student as it has all the kind of machineries required for rapid prototyping and manufacturing things. The hobby club of Institute Technical Council span diverse technical domains ranging from aero modeling, chemistry, math and physics, electronics and robotics, web and coding, and astronomy. This makes sure that student can pursue any interest of their choice by being part of this club. Students of IIT Bombay also compete in various international competitions through different technical teams like Hyperloop team, Rocket team, Satellite team, and many, many more. So all you engineers out there, I hope you are enjoying the live broadcast of World Engineering Day. Wishing all the viewers a happy World Engineering Day. And now back to the studio in Sydney, 